If you've ever wondered how to take someone from a random picture to Disneyland, Wonderland, or how to apply patterns to text, you know, put maybe a picture inside the text or put someone inside the text, then this video is for you. I'm taking you guys through layer masks and clipping masks in Photoshop. I'll be showing you guys how to do magic tricks like, you know, pseudo 3D, and like I said, <laughs> porting people to different places. So let's move into Photoshop. And so here we are, guys. Uh, I'll be taking you guys through two simple examples and then doing something maybe just a little a bit complex. So like we said, we're going through layer and clipping masks. So imagine layer mask as a way of removing something and still being able to, you know, bring it back. Right? It's like when you kill somebody, um, you know those movies that uh, you still have a way of bringing them back here. So that's, that's pretty much what the layer mask does for you. And then a clipping mask is something that basically allows you to restrict something to something. So enough, enough thing, let's, let's get to it. So this is the first example, first example, and this is the second one. So let's go all the way back in time, and let's just start that. Alright, so I think I already put this. Yep. Alright, so the first, first example we're looking at is the making use of the clipping mask. So what I'm going to do, sorry, layer mask. What I'm going to do is um, get my text, or click on my text right here, and then uh, get the text uh, written here, let's see. Layer mask. All right. A second, I thought I was teaching in live class, and let's see if you don't understand anything. Let me move. Oh, um, here we are. So, after doing that, we are now going to take a look at the layer mask for the tail. So, like I said, it's a way of erasing something. So, what we want to do is erase the parts of this um, pattern here. Erase the parts of it that layer mask is on, such that it looks like layer mask is um, uh, so that it reveals whatever is under layer mask for example what's underneath layer mask at the moment is this um, black and gold pattern here so to reveal what is under that pattern this layer pattern you can see here you can see the gold under it so what i want to do is reveal it you to take away the part of the, uh, this text. Okay. So take away this layer mask from exactly from the pattern. So I'm going to hit control and then click on the T here. That's the icon of my layer mask test of text. So it's going to bring up the selection tool and then I'm going to hit this. Um, button at the bottom here. This um, rectangle with the circle in between or in the middle. That's the third one at the third button at the right bottom. So you can see it shows you out there mask. And then, um, then I'm going to want to hold out. If I don't hold out, it's going to invert it. So it's going to take away and leave everything but the area I've selected. But all is going to leave it's going to take away everything in the area of selected. So I'll show you how. So I'm going to hold out and boom. So once I remove my text layer, it reveals what's underneath, underneath of the pattern. So what happens if I don't hold out? I click. I can see that it has restricted everything, or it has taken away everything except the area I selected. So that's basically how layer mask works, works. And what I can even do is I can click on this um well, on the pattern here. I want to label that. This pattern layer, I can click on this um, thumbnail beside the major one and then hit the brush tool. Remember, don't forget, hit the brush tool. And then you see this black, your foreground and background color here start showing black and white. So black means to take away and white means to add. So currently I'm on black, so that means I'm going to be taking away. 
you can see so i'm taking away parts of the pattern so i'm going to change the style of my brush so can you see now that i'm taking away part of it and if i press x my foreground and background color um, they're going to switch places so now that means i can add to the pattern and yes, so it's pretty nice stuff you know there are a lot of advanced applications for this but the idea is to understand the concept so that you can apply it to you know wherever and whenever you need it so let's go back in time yep so that's layer mask for you guys simple version very yeah. easy way to make it so now clipping masks clipping masks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text or I'm going to create a solid color black solid color I'm going to create a text and white clip so what I'm going to do to create a clipping mask that's basically going to allow me to restrict a particular layer to another layer such that that layer on top only shows wherever the layer below is so to do i'm going to right click and then uh sorry as so, so i'm going to right click and it's going to bring up this menu here and here we have quick clipping mask so now it has restricted you know, um, that pattern, that gold and black pattern to clip. So I can try to change my text, change it to SOC, right? Or change it to black. So on a normal day, I probably will use this pattern for this type of concept. So as you can see, you know, that's because the it's not going to allow for much legibility. But as you can see, I can move the text around and see how my pattern there because this pattern on top actually spans the whole area. Can you see? So if I move the pattern, can you see that it starts revealing part of I think I, I kind of like what's going on here. But you know, it's just the legibility thing I talked about. You know, so I think I think I like what's going on here. So yeah, that's that's basically what the mouse do, does for you. It allows you to restrict restrict it from layer to another layer, and then you know, play with some really cool stuff. So let's move on to a sort of advanced um, thing we could do with it. If you guys think, think I missed something, kindly let me know in the notifications or in the comment section, please. Alright, so I'm sure you guys must have seen something like this already. So we're going to pick the letter O. So we want to look like the leaves are interacting with the O, like they're coming or they're, you know, above. So, I, guess, I think we may use a mixture of keeping a layer mask, but I'm thinking more of the layer mask. So, here we have our O. Let's centralize that. Right. Okay. So, let's take away. So, we can see this particular um this leaf here so i want this leaf here and this leaf here to sort of be on top of the o the o like kind of interact with it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select those leaves from the background well let me duplicate my layer so i drag the point one so ctrl j to duplicate layer and then select 
I just use my quick selection too, so I don't waste too much time. Why does it take so long? Right, so instead of Ctrl J, Ctrl J will just take that thing you've selected to the entire new layer. So that what, that's what happens when you hit Ctrl J. But instead of that, what I want to do is create a clipping mask. So remember, if we click on this button without holding our alt, that's going to um restrict or take away everything i was going to take away everything except what we have selected but if we click on or if we hold down alt it's going to take away everything only in the area we've selected but i want to keep just what i've selected so i'm going to just click without holding down alt all right so there we have it so i'll bring back my goal and then move this layer up nice so it looks like the O is in, you know, in the flowers, right? And if I decide to, I can always bring back any of these things. Remember white, click on brush tool, click on right thumbnail, white to bring back. So these are all items don't really interact with the O. That's why I picked just those two leaves. But you can see the beauty of being able to bring back things and you know, all of that stuff yeah. so yeah this this is this is what we have guys so there are a lot of other different different applications for um, layer masks and clipping masks but don't forget layer mask allows you review and take away parts of you know layers and clipping mask helps you restrict things layers to other layers Alright guys, for the last uh, example I forgot to record initially, the very important one, I'm sorry guys, we're looking forward to this, this particular one. So I've copped out the image of this lady, um, which you could do using your pen tool or, or your quick selection tool, right? Not your magic one, actually, your quick selection tool. So you guys can do that and um i refined the edges of the hair um, using the particular technique so if you guys want me to make a video on how to crop out people and you know retain details like hair then let me know in the comment section please so we'll go ahead we'll go ahead to um make two rectangles where our pictures our different backgrounds will stay so i'll duplicate that by hitting ctrl j and um, I'll pull them together and make sure they are in the center of my document. All right, let's make it right a little bit. All right, so I'm going to import um, two pictures and then clip them to these rectangles using the concept I already explained. So. Let's pull them in. From um, file, open. Uh, here's one. Alright, so Control A to select all and Control C to copy. Now I'm going to paste on top of the layer which I want the, um, the, the picture to be clipped to. So let's reduce this. So, like already explained, right click and then create clipping mask. So it's clipped to that part of the picture. And then we open the other image, open, we'll bring this in. Control A, select all, Control C, copy, and Control V to paste. So, right click, create clipping mask. 
and you notice how I made sure that my rectangles or my pictures were above the rectangles I wanted to clip them so I'm just going to move this up so the flowers show in the background and yeah so we've done the first part of um, this example second part is um the shape aspect so i already made the shape i'm going to bring it up so you can create the shape using your pen tool um, for the sake of this example i'll do that again so click on your pen tool um shape um, click click and then to um end it without closing the part you just control and then click on blank space so i'm going to um the fill nothing and then make the stroke white and increase the width to 125 so yeah that's that so to make it look like the stroke is actually going behind her hand and you know um, in front of our body at the same time what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that um, we're going to bring this shape behind the lady and then co um, copy that particular shape by hitting Ctrl J and take that particular one above. So we're going to use our layer mask to take away parts of this so that it looks like it's actually between, you know, behind the hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase parts of the stroke that the hand is in front of, or that, that the hand is in. So let's shift this up just a little bit. And... Uh, yeah, we're good to go. Right, so what we're going to do is we're taking away from the one on top. So we hit our layer mask button. Go into our layer mask and then remember X to pull up the black. Make sure your black is in the foregr foreground. And then... Yep, just take away from it. So while we are taking away from the one on top, the one behind still looks okay and that's because we are erasing that part we want to show right so that's that's the basic idea so you can use this technique to put things in front behind of things in between things and all that so the major key here is or the keys here like i already mentioned are uh, layer um, layer masks or layer mask and clipping masks so that's that's it so i hope that was insightful i hope you guys can perform your own magic you know do crazy stuff and basically apply these things so don't forget the idea is to keep practicing 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 see something you try to replicate it on that's how you get better so thank you for watching um, don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you soon